2016. This um, is the series system. two, and it is a Calais. So normally hearses start from life as a standard of oak or XT Falcon or however they start as, and then they are dressed to look like a Caprice, a Calais, or something like that. Um, the reason being is because obviously it just keeps costs down because the conversion to become a hearse is immensely expensive. So to try and cut costs where they can. They'll make it a standard evoke, which means it has a standard engine, standard interior, but on the outside it might have the wheels, the front end um, of a Caprice or a Calais. The reason why we wanted to do a Calais hearse is because this is the last Australian made Holden hearse, the last one. Last one? Yeah. So we wanted this to be unique and special even against other hearses. So this has got a V8, so it's the 6.2 V8 straight out of the um, LS3 and we wanted it to have the Calais interior, we wanted it to be a true authentic Calais, we didn't want it to be a fake in any way. The other difference between a lot of other hearses that people might notice if you ever see one, is the back of it is normally a wagon. Now the reason why is because the sheet metal in a wagon is easier to convert into a hearse. Sedans went out of fashion probably about 30 years ago and they just have started to come back in, but because there's no sedans anymore to convert, it means that their SUV bodies or their wagon bodies. So having the sedan rear is a really unique um, aspect of the hearse. Mm. That's why it's got that lip at the end because it still has so the rear cool. of the yeah. sedan. So the whole underside um, has been strengthened. As you can see in the photos, the conversion. So there's extra strengthening beams because when you have a longer body, it needs to obviously have extra strengthening beams. It's like when you turn a car into a convertible, when you take the roof off, the floor plan and the side profile has to be strengthened to make it less flimsy. Mm. So there's a lot of extra underbody stuff. The drivetrain obviously has been extra converted. Uh, the exhaust has been completely custom from about the front seats all the way back, but it still has the original sound, which is great. So they've been able to uh, keep that. Um, but that's why up here there is also a lot of strengthening beams. So in where the railing is, that's all vinyl because metal flexes when oh, it's really? too long. So yeah. it's all vinyl up there, but the side parts, they're extra strengthening beams as well. So there's a lot, so it weighs over three tonnes now. So the standard car is about 1800 dry, this one's about 3.1. Oh, that's good to know.